Welcome back to uh, episode three, though, of the House of Da Vinci. And Friday night was, I don't know, we were just kicking our ass. I think the game really sort of like put its arms out a bit as. And um, yeah, we're going to go back to the room that we was in on Friday. But boy, oh boy, are we struggling on that one. There's, I don't know, it's, it's kind of like this room, they really started to hide things. And I think we must have spent a good like hour or more on Friday stream just like not really knowing what to do and just looking for like little tiny pieces um so if we uh jump back into this um I can't remember where we got up to I know we're like sort of working away on the middle area and we have oh that was it we got we got this one we were, was working on this puzzle at the moment which when we use our little oculi thing um, we kind of get this, and now I'm not really sure. Yeah, hopefully we won't glitch the game out anymore as well, because uh, that was uh, slightly annoying on Friday that we kept having to restart, um, quitting out and restarting again. Um, but yeah, not really sure what we are meant to be doing here. I kind of thought that the three on this side was sort of saying, okay, well we need to have a three in place. But whether or not they're saying the three has got to be here or the three has got to be here which is basically in this position here we've got one to 13 but i don't really know like how we what what the what the point of this is i, I don't know where we're meant to take this from and i know mika said on friday they um i think they said they ended up brute, you ended up brute forcing it which, um, see, if we can get away with doing, I would like to. Uh, but then we've also we've got some other bits and pieces here. Take off our oculi thing. And of course we've got this cog here, which I'm going to fit on something, although I'm not sure what it was. Four. can't use it anywhere there and we have got our spring powered lighter which we picked up again from the uh, fire once we'd lit the fire and uh, once again not really sure what we can really do with this either so um, We had this as well, which kind of revealed to us like a process being done, like turning the things in a particular manner. But we don't actually have the vial to like do anything with this at the moment. We also have this here, which looks like it's missing a red piece, which again, at the moment, we don't have anything to do on that. We can't interact with any of these bits. Uh, this tank, I don't think we can do anything with either. And there is something left to do over at the fire here. Because once again, once we do this, it kind of gives us this this pattern here. So we, it looks like we need to attach something to here that's got three prongs or three um, sticky outy bits, for lack of a better term. And then we can rotate that into the right position to then do um, something else. But as for what we're doing at the moment, though, I'm still at a bit of a loss. We also found these... Oh, it's going to take me all the way around. We also found like these bits as well afterwards. We've got this bit on the corner here, which looks like it's going to open up and rotate at some point. I think we can do anything else there. Can we know that's a one-time use deal? And then we also have the um, this here, 
which I think we need to do something with this top bit here. Maybe that slides away somehow. And that allows us to pull that down maybe or slide it up and then we can bring everything else out. Um, in addition to that, we also have in here, we have our suit of armor. And I think we, we've got a, something here, haven't we? Yeah. There is something here that we need to slot into place. And we've pressed the button already. And that gave us something. But, um, you know what else we need to do at this moment in time, which is a little bit frustrating. So I guess we just need to sort of pay more attention and see whether or not there is something which will allow us to solve this. I'm just going to reread -read this letter just to see if there was any hints or anything in this letter. There was that draw there, but I did try um, on Friday. And it doesn't look like it's um, anything we can interact with or open. is this here which is like a some sort of control panel oh on. i didn't notice that before so something on there that we can put on the side it seems that looks like the same sort of shape however of the um the implement we need for the suit of armor as well Also, sorry, I didn't uh, mean to do that. We also have this over here as well, which we're not really sure how or what we can interact with this either. So this puzzle seems like it's the one that we need to focus on at the moment. Sure, I noticed that before actually. It's got something on the back that looks like it slides down. Whether or not it's a manual intervention or not, I don't know. There is a cross shape on top, which we don't have anything for that at the moment. I can do it, it's logical. Oh, hold on, there's no six. Why is there no six? That's interesting. It goes five to seven. One, two, three.
so we're going to go to one, one to thirteen. I assume the arrow is indicating that we, I, I, or I deduced at the weekend that the arrow was saying that we need to go from smallest to highest. How do we take those steps? Yeah, but I, again, this was something that I didn't, I didn't really, I didn't know if it means though that the, that's the three and it, the three needs to be visible here or in that position there, because having the one here will mean that the three is here. There's 12 sides to this. Right? So, is it that the three is visible or not visible? Because if it means that, and it's going from like... I don't know that like, this is indicating then that that's going to go lowest to highest because then that would mean that they've all got to be one. You're confusing me, Death Rush. I don't do myself any favors because I ask too many questions at once. It's half my trouble. Well, that'll leave seven. Oh, okay. Ha, huh. okay. It's easy when someone tells you the answer. <laughs> All right, what have we got here? We got part of Da Vinci's model. has a cross on the bottom of it. And that is for, I don't know what that's for. Oh, that's only done half it, so then was this hexagonal here? Possibly. Okay, we've got the wooden cylinder. Now I'm guessing this will be... Looks like it opens, but I can't find anywhere to... Yeah, there we go. Hey, we got the crank. Yeah, to be honest, Mika, it wasn't... Uh, clearly, it wasn't... Uh, it wasn't that obvious to me either, so... Now that looks like it still needs something putting back in there. Okay, well, we've got a crank, so let's now go here. Okay, K. 
can't do that. Let's try the obvious position first, I guess. But that is a square rectangle shape. Okay. We have a mystery box. So what can we do here then? Guessing we need to find something to. F oh no, there we go. Okay, so we've got to move them into the. Okay, that makes sense. I'm guessing we're going to go A, B, C, D, E, F. Place the gear. The gear goes round. The top of this opens. There's our red piece. something missing here we can see it sort of like scratches away there we've got the empty flask okay okay slide these in in the right order the shields and Metal cylinder with the rings. It's going to open somehow because it's going to give us our final piece of the puzzle. I'm trying to learn from my previous mistakes, Mika. <laughs> Okay. I don't look like I can interact with this, but I don't know as to how it was was for origin originally, wasn't it? That's right. So can I do something with this? I need to I need to do something else then. Alright, so let's now go over here. 
we can place red. puzzle telling us or asking us to do red green blue yellow but then we also need okay so we can swap these around actually can't we Yes, we can. Okay, so... Is it a case in that we need to put all the blues on one? Greens. Reds, yellows, but then these need to be in different positions here. So the blue would want to go there. Yellow, red, okay, yeah, okay. We have some liquid flowing. All right, so now I need to use the, the advanced oculi. And hopefully we can follow around with what was going on. Put the flask in place. Then we need to slide slide that across. Now we need something then to fit into there, like a multi-tool. Which we don't appear to have at the moment. Okay, so we'll come back to that. Hasn't this one opened up though? Yes, there we go. Um, esteemed master, with great concern, we have learned that you are devoting yourself to other less beneficial research. We must therefore command you. You are ordered to cease activities unconditionally, else provide us with satisfactory explanation. Otherwise, you will only bring upon yourself a severe in indignation. And uh, not sure who that's signed by. I 
I did think like that opened up though, as I when I was doing the um, when I was doing the other bits. I know that's not a great explanation. When I was doing the the <sighs> yeah, I don't know what I'm... I was doing something else. I thought I saw something out the corner of my eye, like change position. Oh, wait a second. Uh, I think I know what to do with this. And if we go back to the suit of armor and look at the head here. So we've got one. We've got one that has to, or that is always out. And then we want the one next to it, like that, and then leave one, and then the next one, leave one, and then the next one again, I think. because there was nothing else to go on there. We've got the special key. Now with the special key, we should be able to make the shape that we need down here for the leg. Already in this position, so. The large lens on a long shaft. Look at the large lens on a tripod. Right, so what's wrong about this then? We can't take the key back. Which is interesting. Thought we would reuse that on that little hole we saw over there. Anyway, now that we have bits and pieces for this go back into our special I see into the past moment and okay first one Out to here. Second one goes out to here. Third one goes out to here. at the minute but 
It worked. Whatever we did, it worked. Alright, so then I guess we take this. And we attach it to here, and then we pump it through, right? Yeah. I would agree with that, Mika. Whoa, that was pretty hot. We got the ornamental head. So I guess we're going to make another screwdriver. Got the lever with the square shaft. Let's we'll see though. That's shining out. Something for the final puzzle, I guess. I'm sure we'll soon find out in a moment. Roof of the model. I guess we're going to need to find like the rest of it before we do anything with it here. Something there. So we are missing a final piece on here. There are some stairs that have got to fit onto there. The light is showing on here, so I guess it's going to reflect onto somewhere else there. Well, that was pure luck, wasn't it? The first one I touched was actually the one that needed to rotate. The stairs can go there. slide it down. So there's our missing medallion. No 
I did that rotate this thing. Oh, let's swing here. So have we got anything here that we can use? Okay, so it's, um, yeah, it's like what we, I can't think of like the name of these puzzles, but we saw this in, um, we saw this actually in Quern, didn't we? There was a puzzle very similar to this, like a block escape kind of puzzle. I think if I do something like this, we should be good. We have the scepter like object. Lens on a long shaft now. Say, can we unlock that? We have a rest of a tower here. Okay, so the lens on the long shaft will go on here. Then we're going to combine this with this. Which will give us the completed tower model. And then, of course, we can put this on here. Now. Yeah, rotate the light around. old memory puzzle which I'm surprised I got so well given my memory yo Napaz what's going on buddy welcome welcome hope you're well So that's just like rotating. Can we actually do anything different with this? Okay, so it rotates so far. Oh, okay, I see. It's um, releasing the locks below. There we go. Okay. The wooden handle. Now the wooden handle is going to be to turn the thing below, right? You would assume. That's never good to assume. I'm guessing there's more to interact. Ah, there we go. Ah, slide down. Okay, so that opens up the drawer. Got the strange lock mechanism. Uh, architecture for some of it's just some. Sorry, let me start again. For some, it is just a construction of stone, lime, and mortar. 
For me, an organism similar to all living things. I've created an ideal city uh, for Ludovica, Ludovico, I think, Sephorza, as well as a miracle, remarkable bridge design that will span the, moth, the mouth of the Bosporus. Sorry, my writing, my writing, my reading is way off tonight. In Constantinople and connect Europe with Asia. I have searched through the architecture of Florence in search of a place to safely conceal my greatest work, the the Bay the Badia Florentina Fiorentina Tower has proven ideal. Yeah, I'm uh, not too hard on my pronunciations. You all know that. All right, so this then will be the mechanism for uh, the bit that we haven't done, which is over here. So let us put this in the side here. I guess we've got a... Yeah, got one of those roads right there, Fish. That's the main thing. <laughs> I'm guessing... Do we, are we just looking for a constant across all three panels, perhaps? Of course, by constant, I mean like, are we almost like connecting the lines? So, our lines are not connected there. Yeah, the red and blue, sorry, the red and green don't connect on those ones. I'm sure there is nothing there just to. It was a hint, but there is not. So there is no... There's no low red, so it can't be that one. We can go middle red to there, but there's no low red on that one. But it goes high. There we go. Start with one and then just weed out the options, I guess. Now, we're I guess we're going to put the cr the handle we've got here on the crank. We're going to wind this round. And then that ball will then make its way all the way up to the top and roll around the track. And then hopefully... Will fall in the end and open the door. Maybe we'll actually get out of this room. <laughs> this room has been uh, not the greatest, I'll be absolutely honest. It was very slow going uh, on Friday's stream with this. Like, just trying to find some of like, the real hidden bits on this took an absolute age. Uh, but yeah, there we go. I guess somebody's going to be behind us again. Or not. Okay. Uh, and I think it's the fifth area, perhaps? Yeah, I think it's the fifth area. And it looks like we're... We found a UFO. I think Da Vinci was working on a UFO by the looks of it. Master Da Vinci is being pursued. He must have passed through this room, but where did he head from here? I would stream, I believe that I would have problems with pronunciation and words. I'm just not the best best reader, Mika, to be fair, at the best of times. My reading is very subpar. And uh, I definitely don't hide the fact that I'm not a great reader. Sophisticated lockbox, I wonder what's inside. It's got a square on the base of it. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna make we're gonna have some sort of 
have to like match some crests or something here. If I had to guess. Don't should never have to guess, but Well no, and to be fair, I have already commented as well about the font is not great either. Okay, so we have the ability here to change bits and pieces. I guess we've got to... Somewhere we will be able to... We'll have some crests and we've got to put them in the right order, obviously. This looks like it is shut at the minute, so we can't open the hatch on here. So, what have we got here? We've got the cube. You have been warned, but did not heed. Now your pleas and expect explanations will come too late. You will soon discover who is bet who is the better man. I will not make the same mistake again. I know your secrets. Okay, there is hidden stuff here as well. That one pulls out at least, anyway. It's got to pull things out in order, I guess, here. Metal key has been found. Interesting grooves. Okay. All right, so I'll pass through one of these and it will rotate. So down, down, across, across. have to go from the bottom over here, aren't we? So we could do that one and go round, and then that's going to block our return. I don't know if that's a, a big deal. We are going to have to do a loop here, though, so let's use that one first. Loop round. And then... Loop round here. Loop round here. And through here. Okay. Got the emerald top gold fitting. Okay, that looks like it can be used where the the first station that we was looking at before. So uh, we'll keep an eye over there. Uh, when we head back over there, I'm sure we can use it again. Some more designs and bits and pieces here. We have a cross shape, which I don't think we have anything here that we can fit on at the moment, which we don't. OK. 
Okay, so let's go back to here. Let's see if we can do anything with this emerald that we just picked up. Hmm. It's a bit loose fitting. Okay. So. It's in there. Now we can rotate this. Ah, okay. So that makes sense. I guess we've just got to undo the latches here then. So I guess we're just going to do that twice and then that should then release that. Alright, so we're done there for now until we get hold of I guess it's going to be like a ruby or something. Okay. Now here what can we see here? Not a lot. I wonder if we would be able to some hidden look hidden views here oh hello skull 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 I just want three skulls Doesn't appear to have done anything in that state. Oh, hello. Hi there. Ah, there we go. All right, so need the top one first. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. It actually slides all the way down. Okay. Slide that down. Then we can rotate this one. And then... Oh, how do we... Guess we need to get rid of all of these, right? Hmm. 
not really sure how we would deal with this one here because we can't. I just got to stay in there. So then, let's go stay in there. Can we put that there? Rotate that. No. Oh, I wonder if we can offload. Yeah, we could probably offload these into like these diagonal positions. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Okay, so bring that across to here. Rotate that around. Okay. Then bring that round. Pull this one across. What's going on? How you doing, buddy? I sold the tower with the what? Who, what, where now? So I just need to... Uh, that's got to be the last one of the last moves, I guess. Um, and the bottom one as well. We've sort of ignored this position here with this diagonal at the moment, haven't we? Yeah. It's an interesting like position there, isn't it? So it seems like those two positions are now like fixed in place. So I'm not sure I can. Oh no, they're not. Why is that even there if I can't do anything with that position there? Bit of a strange one. Excuse me? Excuse me? Can I 
not like get a better look at this? To me, there was still like bits of that which were connected to the, the locking mechanisms, but I mean, I've seen it in like puzzle games, like no end of puzzle games before. To be fair, Atom, I just I wouldn't have probably I wouldn't have necessarily like put two and two together though, unfortunately. And um, Deathwish was the one that sort of hinted towards it. Oh, I don't think I can do anything else with that at the moment because it's not letting me interact with anything. All right, so we've got to find a way or somewhere in which we could. Use the key. Unless there is anything more to this. Yeah, that does nothing. So I'm pretty sure, like, where I place this here is, like, the right situation for that. So, like I say, where can we... Where do we use a key? War machine that Leo created. Oh, hello. Okay, we found the small wheel. Now the small wheel, I think we'll go on here. Even if you have to rotate it the wrong way. I can't even see. Like, it's just dark in here. opened up. Alright, so now we've got the key. Um, Anything that like represents the the dashes, I don't know.
had it right apart from the second and third one. Yeah, well, that's what I was just thinking. I was just, I was just gonna like put these back to. Oh wait a second, they've got symbols on them, haven't they? Hold on. the symbol again like a circle and a, a dash Alright, so... Middle ones. What could the middle ones be? Well, yeah, I think... Uh, I think I got that one. Keep it though, like the wrong one on the, um, like the wrong one of these dials. I had the second one right at one point. You know what? I'm not doubting that at all, Deathwish. like a bit, I don't know, it just seems like a bit like you need to use precision for this now, this like this bit, I don't know I don't know that I like this bit too much so it wasn't cats though, didn't we? Thought you saw a clue where the worms left it. Worms. I think a death wish started on worms. Okay, so no, it's not cats. Wrong way. 
surely there's like a much easier way to do this than the way I am tackling this. I see the other drawings where I put the turning wheel? No. I mean, I saw drawings, but I didn't see that. I don't think I could have, like, don't remember being able to inspect them. In that puzzle. There's these drawings here, but I can't get close close enough to like inspect them. And then there's also these ones over here. Which again don't really give a lot away. Positive note, we know what we're working towards now. This will just be like an easier way to do it than now that I keep forgetting which way I need to be turning the freaking wheels, but I don't really need to worry too much though about the I think I need to worry too much about that one at the minute though, because where did the bunny go? The middle one will still get adjusted when we do that other one anyway, so. Okay, so that's that and that's that. Oh, I really don't like these controls. Of 
course, uh, the key is not going to be that easy to break. Take these round. A wooden handle. Really nothing to interact with this with, that's surprising. And there's nothing we can change on the key. At the minute, that is. So... Can I now interact with this in some way? No. Let's go back down here. What are we missing? I have nothing there, so we can't interact with that anymore. Hey, we got one of the achievements. A scythed chariot. It looks like some interesting contraption. It was a fake gate all along. Okay. Line up the holes. Key in the lock. the scratch marks we learned that one in the uh, previous room got the metal lever dagger 
I wonder if the, one of these rubies comes off the dagger. There we go. Told you. Hold it. I think we're done with this then. Let's head back and put the ruby now in the slot over here. Let's see if we can't uh, open up this lock. Will it be the same or will it be opposite. No, it'll be the opposite. The metal head. The lever with a massive metal handle. Now there's, there's a descriptive item. The lever with the massive metal handle. That always sounds like it should be some sort of um, book. Master must have escaped through the war machine. It seems that the platform inside leads to the top of the Badia Fiorenta. Uh, there is not much time left to us. I will await you in the tower. I have managed to prepare the way. When the shot from the cannon sounds, I will know you are close. However, this will also warn our enemies. Waste no more time than you must. Alright, so... The cannon is not loaded. Gunpowder. I guess once we've loaded it here, we're going to shoot these things off, maybe. Okay, so going to need to use this crank on here. Looks like it's a square crank. We are going to need to find some ammunition, though. wonder if we can do anything over here with this crank now. It should have the lever should have fitted though, I would have thought, but it has got a square fitting on it. Here's our cannonballs. Cannon is already loaded.
Ah. I hate inverted games. And the controls are inverted. Well, they're, actually, they're not inverted. Maybe I mean the opposite. Oh, I didn't prime it, did I? Yeah, I don't know. I think in, I think what I mean is though actually not not the, the the controls are inverted. Quite the opposite. I think I'd like prefer them inverted in this sort of situation. Can we make it a three out of three? We sure can. in the chest. Okay, what's well slidey locks? Relatively straightforward, he says. Famous last words. That's down to there, though, and then slide it across. There we go. Developer pulls a game that that lasts at least fifty plus hours. Yeah, witness. I mean, witness. If you hundred percent the witness, then that's a good, that's a good forty, fifty, sixty hours. I would say, especially if you are like trying to find all the, um, you're going for like a completionist on all the environment puzzles and all like the tape recordings and everything, as well as the main puzzles. Yeah, there's, there's some games where you just kind of have to kind of have that self-restraint and they are really worth experiencing for yourself. I always remember though, like my explosion came from somewhere around here. I wonder what it caused it. I always remember though my first sort of impression of The Witness was I saw it on the um, Steam store and I just couldn't get my head around this this like full price game which was literally like drawing lines i didn't know anything about it and i really liked because kind of like people are paying to draw lines <laughs> <laughs> but um i think lb actually gifted it to me um in the end and uh yeah it uh, turned into one of my like all-time top favorite puzzle games um, but there's a lot of games like in recent times though where I've also like not been I tried not to be spoiled on. Um, there was the Resident Evil 2 remake. I kind of waited over a year. I didn't watch anything for that and played that blind, and I'm so glad I did because it I, I it was such a fantastic experience. And um, 
What's the Final Fantasy VII remake? I'd seen little tiny bits, but not enough really to spoil anything. And again, just when you get that experience of like a game that you really want to play and you're really excited and passionate about, and um, you kind of get that whole like unspoilt um, experience. Because, you know, not everybody does play games when they're released these days. I mean, I, I'll hold my hands up and say I would rather wait for a game to come down in price these days before paying full price for it so just having that restraint and it's not an easy thing especially when you're really excited about a game but um it is so much worth it if you can manage to anyway i'm gonna take a quick uh five second break guys just need to go and grab myself a drink and then we'll be back and we'll uh, take a look at the tail so bear with me guys i will be right back oh my goodness and we are back what's going on there nation hope you're well yeah, but again, if, if they follow like, on the same footsteps of the original uh, Mika, then with all like the extras and the star puzzles and everything, then you'll definitely get your money's worth with um, Talos 2. So, okay. Um, let's see what we need to do here. I guess we've just got to get these out. And we can come into the tower. Once again, though, however, it doesn't seem like Leo is here. This part of the tower is undamaged. The explosion must have happened on one of the lower floors. Now, how do I get down there? Incomplete pulley mechanism. Whatever happened to LB? Um, nothing happened to LB. Um, he is still around. I think he's just... He's been really struggling like the last couple of years with his like day-to-day -day schedule. And um, I, I think he just got like really burnt out and he's not been able to like get back onto his um, normal schedule. Um, whether or not he'll come back to playing Portal is... I don't know, Nerdy Nation, I'll be completely honest. Um, he does do... He does still upload daily videos. He plays Duskers on a daily basis. However, the videos are actually um, unlisted. So he, didn't, he felt like he didn't want to bombard everybody's sub boxes with uh, Duskers videos on a daily basis. So he took a decision to... Um, actually upload those as private so yeah he is still making videos but y you can kind of tell when or i can kind of tell that he is still kind of struggling a bit you can tell in his voice when he's commentating those videos that he's really still burnt out so um i'm sure he would love to get back to portal but at the same time it's been probably like that much it's been that long away from portal that um it would probably be quite difficult for him to, to come back and decide what he actually wanted to do um, with it. Uh, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't, but... Right, so I guess we're going to make the shapes here. Three complete shapes. Ah. The Deathwish approach. Look at everything through the Oculus. Face fit as a relatively simple puzzle here. Yeah, it's um, it was it's, it was he was a great like public figure in the community as well, and um, I worked with him a couple of times on um, 
some like collaborations on cooperative maps as well, some harder ones, which was uh, which was great. So, yeah, I'm sure if if he gets to a if he gets to a like a, a point where he feels he's ready to come back, he will do. Um, but I don't know. Like I said, I, I just don't know whether or not he will feel comfortable or he'll he want to come back with being away for such a long time. But you know, we can kind of hope. We can hope. We're part of a device. It's a, it's a combination item. Major on construction made part of the of Da Vinci's astronomy research. Not that there is anything else to interact with here, though. Of interesting, like little um, bits and pieces here as well. Uh, what have we got here? We need to fix something onto there, I think. Ah, I see. I see. Well, welcome, welcome, and uh, happy that you found us, nerdy. So there's something, there's some other pieces we can pick up clearly that we haven't found yet. So it kind of looks like we're going to have to like adjust the position of this on a regular basis at the time being to be able to access both the lower level and the top level no don't want to do that don't want to do that ah uh, that was rubbish So it's an incomplete pulley mechanism, so we're not going to be able to use that. What I want have thought. Can we? Oh, something. If in doubt, use our magical tools to work it out. Atom is certainly one of those map makers. Oh, 
Alright, so I can't actually interact with this at the minute, can I? Everything's locked into place. Something in the middle there that I guess will activate this. That was by chance. Drawing the revolving bridge. Stop pressing the uh, the right mouse button. You forget that that light takes me back. There's no like skip mechanism on this. It's almost like the um, the catapult we had in the uh, second or the third room. I had to like sit through that animation and reload it, and every time, which was a bit tedious. Oh, I don't know again. What an absolute muppet! Ah, okay. So. What we want to look at is. See, so they go one, two, three, four. So we need to see then what positions are what. So I think if we use this, maybe we can work out what is what. So this is one. So one is a full moon, two is the sun, three is a half moon, and four is a crescent sun. 
So we got moon, sun, um, half moon, right, and then like crescent sun, right. Right. Let's uh, see if those that information is correct. Three was half moon on the right. And this was Crescent Sun, we called it. Correct. Then it moves. That's just stars. Then it changes to a... Oh, but it only changes once something else is put up there, so... Must be missing something. Yeah, there's nothing on that middle dial, Deathwish. I'm missing some, I'm definitely missing some like bits that I can pick up. Looks like that fits onto there as well. Yeah, Hugo did a really good job with that actually, uh, nerding. Kind of like walk through like step by step like the process he took and how he how he made decision design decisions and bits and pieces for the map so yeah it's definitely a good one to watch and also if you're um intrigued the one that uh, most people always recommend is the uh demon arisen series of um how to make great test chambers there's also um rector rox's guide on the workshop So uh, yeah, there's there's lots of um... you know I haven't done this puzzle here. Are you referring to like the other one further around? I, I don't seem to be able to interact with this one. I think the best the best inspiration though is like if you really want some good inspiration, 
is to um can't push anything to thrush. Um is to just play play maps. The more maps you play, the more you see what other people are doing. And that can also be kind of like a big inspiration for you know what you kind of want to try and achieve. One of my my what I consider like my best workshop map um actually came from um one of Demon Arisen's live streams and he was working on something and trying to like build something with the community and I actually got really inspired and I used that as like a basis for uh, one of mine and uh, I consider that to be like my greatest puzzle my, my greatest map oh I can't I swear down I tried to rotate this before but a hope Alright, so we've got the square medallion. I'm assuming the square medallion will fit. On that puzzle board place over here. Okay, um, here's the white, which means that we can travel over those spaces twice. Not another one. Okay, this one. This one looks like something special. Um,
Hmm. Well, I thought mistakes were made, but we're good. We are good. Okay. We got the cogwheel. Okay, esteemed master of Leonardo da Vinci, we both know that we share a bond of mutual respect. We know about all the events happening in your home as well as in your workshop. Any measures you have taken to prevent and jeopardize our plans are useless. Therefore, I ask you to hand over your finished work together with your plans for, for that which remain unfinished and to cooperate with us fully and immediately. Otherwise, you and your followers will be punished. Interesting. All right, so maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe this cogwheel actually be for down here. Okay, so we've got to put the um, we've got to put the timers in the correct positions then. So the circle is in the right position. Just swap over the last two. And that should be that. Okay, this is a draw. Silver disc. We've got a golden dial with a cogwheel. This is part of a device. We've got the dial gear assembly. All right, so the real question is, is that part of this or the one below? That is part of this. Like he's certainly harnessing some what is alien technology here. This is crazy stuff. Alright, does this one fit on here by any chance? It does. Alright, so now we have this. So thinking we need to line these up okay, 
go past it though, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we do that. What did he do when we look back at this? Position them. Put the sun down. So, do we then, maybe we need to readjust based on this cycle here. So we've got crescent left, um, clips, and we got crescent right, and but sun crescent left. Can I win the jackpot with the machine? So it's that one. That was an eclipse. This one was Crescent Right. But it was more of a Crescent than the first one. And this one was Sun Crescent Left. Well, I'm guessing that's not right because the thing stopped glowing. What do they actually what do they actually do here? They position them somewhere, then like hits the lever to recalibrate them.
Alright, we got the small key. Okay. So I need then to use the key to get something out of here. So where do we use the key? Yeah, of course. Strangely shaped tool. I'm just going to reset this back a moment to what we had originally. Moon, sun. Half moon right. Sunright. Maybe I have messed this up now. Maybe I've just done what I need to do with this part. Pretty sure I'd probably need to reset that as well. Alright, so next question. Where can we use this strangely shaped tool? I guess the answer to this question is not here. Okay, so we've got X, circle, diamond, where?
Where have I seen shapes though? That's all done with. Where have I seen other shapes? Oh. So that was just telling me the combination for the egg timers then. Huh. Well, that's disappointing. is very disappointing indeed. Just watch this again. See again what this happens here. That goes in there, recalibrates that, and then that goes to there. certainly set everything to this it's not a problem that's um
that would have to match down below, right? Alright, so... That's interesting. Go look for an overlap. Right? I think. Alrighty then. So now we can finish this one off. my way through I did work out that I did I worked out the fact that when the, the gold and the silver ones overlapped um, it was started to flicker and everything so yeah man take it back
Oh, well, they didn't reset the positions they were at previously. Which is a bit annoying. Maybe I should have just gone with the first one that it's set. Because these now feel massively out. Not good, not good at all. Oh. Wait a minute. I forgot I can move them like that. I know I can move them some way. We got the silver four tipped medallion. Excellent. Know what we might do with this silver four tipped medallion. back up to the top and uh, see if there's anything up here. What did that do differently? Troll to something over there. Maybe this has a new pattern. I need to do something up there then, looking at this. Because I guess the next bit is that we're going to pull up the... Um, we're going to pull up that hatch and then be able to make a way down. <laughs> tower, excuse me. Uh, 
No. This is a box that opens. This box looks a lot different compared to the others. So we're going to do present left. Present right. And sun crescent left. So one is present right, not present left. present on the sun. And my what whatever I've got written down here is completely different to what this dial actually is, so I just gotta just go back and do it again, but actually pay attention to what's going on here. 
One is right, four is right. Two is massively wrong. Oh, well, I cheesed it. somewhere. Or is it? That was getting a bit of a... Getting a bigger flicker. I should have just said I'm skimming stones. Probably didn't know what I was talking. Alright, there was a segment up here. where it just sort of seemed to go backwards and forwards a bit. to see where that point is where it sort of like goes then it comes back and it goes and comes back again there
Mechanism is easy. I don't believe you. Keep rotating it. Gotta keep rotating it. But there is still nothing here. Use now, I probably should have. Probably should have checked it from underneath to see if there was anything there because there was something underneath last time, wasn't there? Guessing this is just going to fit on here. Huzzah! So, we have opened the hatch. I guess we're good to now descend deep down into the depths of the tower. Maybe not. Gotta jump. Gotta jump. No! Disaster has struck. We have fallen to our depths. Right in the bottom of the tower. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. So wait, there's... There hasn't been anybody following us this whole time. It's just been ghosts. Spooky, spooky ghosts. Also, just because I saw it. Let's pick up the flying machine. Yeah, that's all the achievements as well. All right, guys. Well, I know we're close to the end, but I am going to leave it there for tonight. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate the support. We will be back tomorrow. Don't you worry, we will be back tomorrow and we will 
be finishing off this, I think, because I think we're on the final um, hurdle now. So, um, yeah, same time, same place. And um, who knows, if we get through this relatively quickly tomorrow night, we may even have a bit of time for some other shenanigans as well. But until then, guys, thank you very much for hanging out. I appreciate your support. And until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Stay safe and happy gaming.